Warning. The other day my dog had a wet dream. He was probably dreaming about you. See, you got two basic types of snowmen. You got your familiar snowman, your what we call in the industry your purebreds. These are the snowmen that you'll usually find around uh, ski resorts, residential home areas, uh, sometimes by the side of the road, but for the most part, residential snowmen. Uh, these are the purebreds, and they are the most dangerous type of snowmen. Uh, you can tell by their markings. They're usually white. They usually dress rather dapper. You'll find them with hats usually. Um, authentic, real coal belly buttons and smiles and eyes. Um, you will also notice uh, scarves. Scarves. But they're very well kempt, if you will. And that is, um, that's actually part of their goddamn ploy. To infiltrate us. You think, oh, look at the cute little snowman. Oh, isn't it sweet? Those are the most dangerous type. Those are the ones that get Everett into trouble. He let it come into his front yard. Next thing you know, it's f***ing his wife. Okay, but we won't go into that right now. So those are your purebreds. Then, you got what we call in the industry, your mongoloids. Now, mongoloids are usually found around industrial parks, logging roads, um, as you can see here, just filthy areas. Uh, their telltale signs are misformed body styles uh usually shit for their eyes uh arms and just about falling off practically and just filthy filthy in general um and these are also it should be noted uh sterile uh mongoloids are are born uh not hermaphroditic they're actually born asexual uh, so they have no genitalia, they have no penis and testicles, nor female genitalia, if you will. Uh, as you'll see here, there's nothing, nothing. Poor little, poor little sucker was born, um, you know, with nothing. Uh, they also, it's interesting, the, the mongoloids, they, they feel no pain. If, you, if you'll notice here, I'll put that cigarette right, see, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't do nothing. I can put that right there and mongoloids don't feel nothing. So, um, usually what we like to do... Actually, uh, could you could you hold this? <sighs> Thanks, champ. Usually, uh, with your mongoloids, what we like to do is, uh, well, we just pretty much put them out of their misery. Uh, so, sorry, little guy, but uh, it's time to go. Night, night. And that is the end of that story. You're welcome, champ. <laughs>